So the speed shown on the car's speedometer is proportional to the rate of rotation on the tires. You ever wonder, uh, when you see a car, you have these meters, the, the needle that kind of go pointing here. Hang, hang, hang. And then you go up higher to from zero to, I think, 100 is somewhere here. 180 somewhere here. Depends on how powerful your car is. Okay, so how does the car know how fast you're traveling? Uh, they don't actually know, actually. They are they are just looking at how fast the, 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 the tire is rotating. So here you have a variation of diameter of a tire. As it wears away, it, then you start to have an error in the speed shown on the speedometer. This is based on how fast the tire turn. New car tire is 600 mm. And the speedometer is calibrated to assume the diameter is this big. But then, over time, the tire wear out already gets smaller and smaller. So 6 mm is removed from the outer surface. So this is one side where we can see. What's the error in speed shown in the speedometer after this wear has taken place? Let's break this down a little bit. Um, the tire, oh, when it's new, has a nice big diameter. Over time, it shrinks because the rubber is gone. Ah. You wear it away. So this shrink by 6 mm on this side. Don't forget the other side also shrink by 6 mm. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to think of a value. Diameter D. Over time, the error changed. So let's find the percentage error or the percentage uncertainty. This will be 6 plus 6 millimeter over the, 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 the diameter, which is 600. Times 100 to get a percentage. This will give me 2%. So after you wear the tire off, your, your error is going to be 2% in your speedometer. That's the first thing. Then the second thing is, if you look at all the questions, no, actually, how do we know if the speed is too high or too low? We need to think a little bit, how does the tire know how fast you are turning? Okay, so you imagine this, a tire is rotating on the road. Rotate, rotate, rotate. It can measure uh, one full revolution, how long it takes. So what the computer on your, on your uh, car usually does is, how long does it take time for one revolution or one rotation? It will assume that during that one time, the full circumference of the tire is traveled. So this will be circumference, distance traveled. You find it hard to visualize, imagine this, okay, the circumference is like that, right? That is a distance traveled if you unravel that distance. So this is the circumference you travel after the tire turn one round. Circumference. Okay. So we find the speed from there, right? Um, how they calculate is usually the speed will be distance over time. So in this case, we apply to the tire, this will be the circumference and how long it takes to do one cycle. So circumference over T is generally how the car will calibrate. But then... You see on the left side, when the tire becomes smaller, what happened to the circumference? See, it shrink. Tire is smaller already. So that's not good. So we make a note. Circumference decreases after wear and tear. Now the circumference is smaller already, not so big. So that means if we look at this thing, when your circumference decrease, your speed is actually not going to be as big. Let's assume the tire turns at the same amount of time for one cycle. So that means in the same unit of time, you won't travel as far already. Long. So I'm going to write a statement here. Mm -hmm. So when, when tire is worn out, the speed is lower. When circumference is smaller due to wear and tear. But the speedometer does not know this has happened. The speedometer say, oh, we are cruising at 110 km per hour. 
But actually, in real life, the speed is lower. So maybe your expectation is this. The speedometer says, oh, this one is what we see. But in reality, is a little bit lesser. Maybe, I don't know, what is 2% error? Oh yeah, something like what? Okay, let me calculate. 110 times 2 divided by 100. 2.2. Okay, la, maybe 108 kilometer per hour. That's how fast your car is actually going, but the speedometer doesn't know. So that's what it means. That means your speed shown on your meter is too high. So this is too high. So we look for too high, too high. Okay, this is okay. And 2% error. So the best one we're going to choose here is B. This is a pretty tricky one. Got to maybe process this a little bit. Go stare at some tire outside in your house. But that's how we can find the error for this question.